Hello my friends, today we are editing this photo. It's a pretty straight up edit, will you only use Lightroom? And uh, before we start that, I'm going to show you a little bit of behind the scenes. This is what I had going. I had this background on the base. This is from V flat. And in the back here, I had the background from replica surfaces. On the left, I had a big soft box with the light. And on the right, I put the bounce card. This bounce card is from B V flat as well. I'm going to show you, let me show you another photo. Um, you see here the soft box, it's really big but it's angled. A lot of people I see, they put the softbox straight up and down. And what that does, because it's a lot closer to this side of the subject, this side will be really bright, but then this side really dark. If you angle it like this, then the light will be a lot more even and you won't need to adjust that gradient on your image. Here's a better image on how it was angled. So let's talk a little bit about the composition. As I said, I had this background from V flat. I added the replica surfaces. Now I didn't have a little stand that will fit my churris perfectly. So I used the cup. I do this trick a lot. If you, you know, see my photos on Instagram, I used this mug. I turned it upside down. Then I flipped it so you don't see the handle. And then I had a plate with cherries. I use a very small plate. You don't want to use too big of a plate where it will swallow your cherries unless you have a lot of lot of cherries. So I put my little plate of cherries on top of my mug and now I have this beautiful uh, stand with cherries. Then I took two of the cherries and placed them here in the front just for some interest. And I put a napkin behind it just to bring in the red color and make everything kind of flow together. And this was the final image. Let me reset this and show you how I edited. First looking at it, I noticed that it was a little bit underexposed. My whites were not very bright and cheery. So I increased the exposure to plus 40, 45. For the contrast, I did a plus 11. Highlights, I brought them down a little bit to negative 15. And then I open out the shadows with the plus 36. For the whites, to get them even brighter, I added some to plus 11. And the blacks, I brought them down to get a little bit more contrast to me minus, let's say minus six. Textured, I increased to plus 19 and clarity to plus 16. I increased the vibrance to plus 20. I did not mess with the calibration this time. And sharpening, click option on the mask, pull to the right, and about 82. That way I only sharpened the cherries, not the background. And I did the remove chromatic aberration and enable profile correction. Once I did all this, I wanted to crop the image a little bit and if you know me by now, 8 by 10 is my favorite crop. So this looks right to me. Click OK. And there you have it. We started with this and ended with this. My name is Skylar Ewing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.